the business. You know? Charlie was a young hippie with a knapsack and a folded hammock on his back when he set up from France to see the world. At the age of 26, he backpacked around India with his friend, not knowing that his journey would end up him founding a successful line of travel accessories, Ticket to the Moon. So everything started in India. I was uh, traveling in India, I was backpack backpacker and kind of hippie living on the beach in India and and we used to to make hammock, to use hammock. But just to buy material, cheap material in India, make two nuts and use them as hammock to protect ourselves from the dirt and insects. I spent nearly two years traveling in, Ima in, in India using hammock everywhere. For so a while I was I decided to go back to Europe to make money and then I have to find something to sell, to do. I passed to Indonesia. I arrived by boat to Jakarta, across Java, passed to Bali. And I went to this material shop and I discovered the, the parachutes that I use actually for, for the hammock. I tried to make some samples, we test them, and it was really, really the best material we ever found for, to make hammock. It was very elastic and breathable and very strong, with full color. And we decided to produce hammock, went back to Europe, start to do market and festival, music festival, and to sell the hammock. But it was not a brand, it was just hammock. And we have the truck, and with my friend, we are traveling, selling hammock day by day. Welcome to the world of Ticket to the Moon. It was the beginning of a potential business venture. The next year, they went back to Indonesia to start producing more hammocks. And then we decided we, to put a name on this. The inspiration of moon is a dream, you know. When people dream, they, they go to the sky, they go to the moon. Hammock makes you sleeping and makes you connect with the star, you know. So it's a ticket to the moon in that way. When you start to, to dream until you sleep, it could, it could be called a ticket to the moon. The ticket to the moon was understandable for even non-speaking English. And I think the name is, um, is part of the success of the, the company. Until now, the hammock were big, very heavy and not easy to carry, to install. And what Ticket to the Moon developed is a fast way to install the hammock with a hook. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable uh, because it's elastic material. You don't sleep in the hammock, it's taking the shape of your, your body. Since then, Charlie's Ticket to the Moon has become a popular product among travelers in Europe and some parts of Asia. From a single product, the list has grown to include moon chairs, beach blankets, frisbee, and reusable bags that are made out of colorful parachute material. With Ticket to the Moon, Charlie has created a lifestyle, a tribe culture that is strong in giving. Ticket to the Moon has started a foundation called Yayasan Lestari Mandora to help the Kodi primitive tribe on Sumba Island. Ticket to the Moon is the main donor for the foundation. It's very important for me to keep a part of this business to support the foundation. Ticket to the Moon is more, more a tribe than a company. And because we were a bunch of 20 friends selling hammock all over the Europe, the planet, summertime, and winter, winter time we are back to the India. You know? Maybe 10% of the sales of Ticket to the Moon are still done by these people. So I try to keep it with the spirit. It's a new, new concept of management, maybe. <laughs>